when you receive a call from the office of the First Presidency or the counselors of the First Presidency, your whole life rolls over. I don't think that I can think of words or tongue can express the thoughts that have been in my mind and in my heart <clears throat> since I visited with President Monson on Friday. And as I thought about addressing you tonight, I, I felt so humble and yet so honored, so privileged to be able to bear my witness to the priesthood of the Church throughout the world. What an honor that is. I owe the Lord so much because He has blessed me so much, and I pray that I can sustain the brethren in the calls that may be given me, that I might perform them in a way that'll, that I might impartially repay the Lord for those choice blessings. He has seen that I have had the, the blessings that are most important in life. I've had a choice companion who we've had a special an association of love. She sustained me throughout all of my activities as I have tried to sustain her. And I think right now her mind is as muddled as mine as we try to make the adjustments that will be coming in our lives. And then I've been blessed with a family that I'm proud of who are serving the Lord. I don't know what else you can ask of our Father in Heaven that is of so much worth. I know, too, that they have to make some changes. As we will not be as close together as we've been, but I know that they will sustain me in, in the call and, and will make the adjustments that are necessary. I think, too, of two missionaries that came to my grandfather in the 20s in Kitchener, Ontario. They, there was no one in the city who was LDS people. They'd been discouraged, and as they passed his door, they heard a song playing that had been played in their homecoming or their farewell. And they approached the door to listen, and he saw them. And they introduced the gospel to his heart and to my heart. And all my life I've known that it's been true <clears throat> and that we have a prophet who guides and directs us. And I think of the words of the Master as the, as the scribes and Pharisees came to him about John the Baptist, of if he was a prophet, and he said, What went ye out to see, a prophet? And was he just one of you, or is he a man in fine clothes and fine linens? And then he said, uh, The baptism of John was it of heaven or of men, which denotes the works of a prophet, if it's of heaven. And then they said, All the prophets in the law have testified till John. And as I've read those scriptures, I've watched all of the prophets who have affected my life and saw that they have fulfilled that role that the Master has described. I've been privileged to have President Benson in my home as, as one of us. I've knelt with him as we have called a stake president, and I've felt that divine call as he leads and directs this Church through the spirit of revelation. And I bear that witness in Jesus' name. Amen.